Hello, my purple banditos, and welcome back to more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages. I'm Purple Rodri. In the last episode, we made our way up this mountain, helped out some Gorons, and made it to the entrance of level 5. In today's episode, we're gonna head inside and take on level 5 Crown Dungeon. Now, this is where the dungeons start getting a little more difficult. I mentioned to you guys before that with every dungeon, the difficulty goes up. And believe me, it definitely goes up in this one. I've received a lot of hints and tips from you guys, from those of you who have already gone ahead and done it. And I know that it was a def uh, definitely a difficult one, especially if you've never played it before, because the puzzles from here on out start getting really ridiculously crazy. Let's go here to the left then and start making our way through this dungeon as quickly as we can. Uh, this is... A pretty short dungeon, honestly. It doesn't take very long, but I'm gonna try to get through it, you know, a little bit faster than usual if I can figure out exactly what's going on. There are things that I do remember from this dungeon because I remember the item and how troublesome it was once you get it. So I do remember some things like that. If anything, you can also notice that the enemies are red and blue. Kind of like a representation of what's coming in this dungeon. All the switches and everything we're going to have to do. So I think that's why they kind of do it like that. Alright. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Also, one more thing I wanted to mention was that if you guys remember, last time we obtained a ring that gave us double hearts. Now, this ring is actually going to come in very handy from the dungeons from here on out. Because every time we kill an enemy and he gives us a heart, we're going to be able to obtain two hearts from it. And it goes for the same way when we obtain a heart from a pot or something like that. Now, let's keep on moving through here then. I think we're heading in the right direction. Oh, so are you uh do, oh my uh, yeah, I'm done. I'm just going to I'm just going to start flipping enemies. Not even going to bother with uh fighting them if if I don't have to. I'm just going to keep flipping them. I need my sword. I definitely need my sword. So I wanted to mention this one thing to you guys that I thought was kind of creepy. Okay, so I think I've mentioned this before how like, you know, I saw the ghost thing uh at Moe's house and, you know, things like that and it was kind of creepy. Well, recently, I'm home alone, right? So, you begin to think, by the way, you have to hit all these at the same time. Um, crap, I am not doing this right. You begin to think like your your imagination is making things happen, right? So you're like, yeah, it's just my imagination doing crazy stuff to me. But then all of a sudden, I'm like, I don't know, I was just sitting here. And uh, one of these days, I just heard like, like what sounded like sobbing. And I was like, are you, are you kidding me right now? Like, is this really happening? This was actually like last night. And a friend of mine actually mentioned to me this ghost radar thing, right? I don't know, some app, some dumb app. Um, I downloaded it and then all of a sudden, um, I'm not even kidding. Let me hang on, let me, let me, let me go down here. Uh, I, I start like searching around the house. You know, this app's probably completely fake, but all of a sudden the thing, the app talks and it's like rope. And I'm like, what? rope what and it's just like it's so creepy and then i mentioned it to mo and i was like dude okay so i think something's going on here and he's like well honestly i don't think the place is haunted but i think that you might be and i was like crap like what if it's me that is getting followed around by something and not the places that i go to because sometimes at my old place where i used to live uh with three other friends of mine I used to wake up in the middle of the night to something like yelling, not yelling my name, but something would be like saying my name. You know, it'd be like, Rodri. And I would just like wake up and I was like, what in the fudge was that? You know? So maybe it really is something following me around. Who knows? It's just, it's kind of creepy when you think about it. Uh, I don't know. I, I wonder what it is. It could also be that I've been watching a little too much Supernatural. That could be it. I've been, you know, I'm free for the summer now. I finally finished up my classes. I'm on like season two. I guess I could say I've been knocking it out. So maybe, maybe it's just I've been watching a little bit too much of that and before bed and I need to chill it out. But who knows? So anyways, if, if anything crazy happens to me, you guys got warned. It was probably a ghost that follows me. Heads up to everyone. Be careful. Just letting you know ahead of time. Okay, as you can see, we have two keys and we seem to be progressing quite fast through this dungeon. Surprisingly, it's pretty streamlined. What I've mentioned to you guys before is make sure you take it. What the fudge? Okay, thankfully from Seasons, I have learned a lot of tips from this. Now, for, for these places where you don't know where you're... I'm gonna risk it. Oh, crap. Whoa, I'm still up? Yeah! This guy seems to be walking on a platform. Now, here he fell. Okay, so maybe to the left. So, a good thing for this is you can always use Ember Seeds to light your path. Um, crap. I'm just gonna make the jump. But then other than that, uh, you can also see where the enemies are standing, and that'll help you. We, we're up to three small keys already? 
By all means, I'll take them. So yeah, that's one of those good things. There are also going to be uh, puzzles like... There are always going to be puzzles like that where there are some floors which you can't see. Use some ember seeds. You know, it, you can also use bombs, but I wouldn't recommend it because you could always, like, fly off. So, you know, a bomb hits you. You're pretty much done. Real life and not. So, just, just a heads up to you. Uh, if you ever see a bomb, run. Yeah, that's that's probably some some good advice for you guys. I wonder, huh? Let me let me see if we can figure out where we're going exactly. I think we're coming up close to the item. Yeah, I know it hasn't took us very long to get through this dungeon. Ah, oh, crap! I need to go flip that switch though. We need, okay, we need it to be flipped. Okay, let's go flip the switch, and then we'll start progressing through here. We're gonna have to jump down because if I remember correctly, these were reds blocking, blue blocking these. So we need to make our way through the reds. Okay. We got this, guys. It's not a, it's, a, you know, there, there comes a point in Zelda where you've played so much Zelda, you've done so many dungeons, that it just comes easy. If you guys have been playing along with me, like I know a lot of you guys have, uh, I'm guessing that you guys have gotten a lot better at this than even me. So, I guess it just kind of happens. We can't do much here right now because we can't step on that. But look, it looks like we can have some fun here. We're going to need some Ember Seeds. How many Ember Seeds do I have? I got 10. Okay, that'll do the job. Ember seeds away! Ember seeds away! Oh, that, that didn't work. That didn't work nicely at all. I, I was hoping I didn't have to waste any ember seeds. That's okay. You know, sometimes in life, you, you can't always aim your ember seeds. Another tip for you. Let's, all right, let's keep on going. And, oh, crap. Okay, so this is going to be one of those memory puzzles. So we have yellow, blue, red to the top. So I'm going to go ahead and do that one first. Yellow... And I believe, yes, I think I know, I think I know what I'm doing. Yellow, blue, and if I'm correct, the red is here. Now, let me go check it again. And we have yellow, red, blue. Come on, Link. Jeez, you can make this jump. Yellow, red, blue. Okay. Yellow, red, blue. Yellow, red. I hope I'm doing this right, seriously. I think I am. Except I have no idea how I'm going to get inside of this chest. What? Yellow, red, did it, what, what did I do wrong? What did I do wrong here? Okay, red, blue and red are up there. Yellow is there. Yellow, red, blue. What is going on here? Oh, okay. I see, I see what has to happen. Um, they're a little bit further down. Um, I guess, I guess that's what you have to do. They're a little bit further down than I expected them to. So let me go ahead and push this one down. Like, like two? Was it? Yeah, I think it's here? I don't even know now. Now I'm just a little... Yes, this is it. Because then we can also get the chest from here. There, yeah, there we go, guys. Not that difficult once you actually memorize it. And we obtained the Cane of Samaria. You use it to create blocks. As you saw earlier, we had a lot of places where we could place blocks. But we didn't have anything to place on it. But now the Cane of Samaria actually allows us to put down, you know, wherever we want. We can push it. And then we can also break them. Uh, with our swords, so it's it's a, it's kind of a helpful item as you'll be able to see later on as we really get going The Cane of Samaria actually comes in very handy I don't know how handy it comes in in this game because I don't remember But I know that at least for this dungeon. It's gonna make for some interesting puzzles Okay, we're at three keys now and the real question is Now that we're at three keys Where do we head from here my friends? Huh? Um, let me go check this other room over here because I, I don't think we've checked this one yet. Ooh. Oh, look. There's another chest over here. We got ourselves a dungeon map. Very nice. Ooh. Okay. So we already found the boss door. So we're coming up very, very close to where we need to be. This is exciting times, my friends. Very exciting times. Because it looks like we are progressing through this dungeon quite nicely. Um, I'm kind of tempted to go down here. But I don't know what it'll lead to. Screw it. Let's go for it. Why not? Maybe we could even beat this dungeon today. Who knows? We might be able to knock something out here. Let's go down here. Oh, okay. This is definitely... I don't think this is the right area. I don't know if we should be here, but we're gonna give it a shot. Okay, here we go. See, as you can see, when we even get into these 2D atmospheres, you can already start placing some the blocks down too, which makes it even nicer to jump. So, kind of helpful item, I suppose, to an extent. Ooh, what are we looking for here? Looks like... Mm, another little puzzly looking area. That's okay. I'll figure this out. Not even a problem. Sometimes I'm good at games. Majority of the time, not so much though. Not so much. Okay, so this looks like an easy puzzle. Uh, let me push this. 
Oh, okay, so as you can see, the two blocks move together. So, what are we gonna do? We got the Cane of Samaria, genius game, genius. Whoever came up with this, honestly, this is kinda cool. This is really cool, like, the fact that you have to move these separately by using the Cane of Samaria, it's kinda genius. There we go, we got ourselves a key, and with that, we're at four, guys. Holy crap, I think that's the most keys we've had. I don't think we've ever been at a point with more keys than this. That's actually really, really cool. I will take it. Because the more keys, the merrier. I think sometimes they're like... I've thought about this before. I don't know about speedrunners. I've, I've never done speedruns or things like that. But I wonder if for them, it's like... I don't know. Like, like they know places where you don't need to use a key. You can skip it. And it's just like, you pile up keys and it goes faster. That must be so cool. Like, knowing exactly where you can use one and where you don't have to. I suppose it's just a matter of playing through the game and getting to know it but it'd be pretty cool if I knew some of that I might have to just run through a dungeon and figure that out because I think it would be kind of freaking cool okay so now that we're done with that let's see what else we can find around here honestly I think I might just go for the completed dungeon at this point we're moving through it very fast and it's not giving me a lot of trouble at this point I'm actually feeling quite positive with it so let's just see if we can make it through it today all right I need me some hearts because Coming up, I am pretty sure that we have made it to a very somewhat dangerous area. Let's head inside, and it is time for us to take on the mini boss. I am gonna equip myself some Pegasus seeds. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa! Okay, so I'm guessing we're gonna have to pick that up. Um, yes, we're gonna have to pick this up. And no, it, okay, here we go. Pick up the ball and throw it at this thing. I have couldn't tell you what this thing is. Oh man, I almost got him three times there with one ball. Come on. Um, I'm also not sure if the balls are timed or if it's just a matter of uh, you throwing it or what's up with that. That was it? Holy crap, I hit him twice. That was absolutely amazing. Do not give me much more credit than that. I just got very lucky and happened to do a decent job for once against a boss. <laughs> Let's keep on moving then. I still have to find something. Um, okay, let me go through here. What? Is this a key? What could this be? No, 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 no. We're not trying to dance here. Okay, we got ourselves the compass. Cool. So with the compass, we should be able to finally get to where we need to with this. We have the compass, guys. We're looking quite good. Um, wow, this is actually very exciting. I'm hoping that we can beat this dungeon then today because we're getting through it like very, very quickly. I'm beating bosses fast. We're getting things accomplished. It's a good feeling once we actually get something going in this game, you know? Something I, uh, I need to be proud of once in a while, guys. Because I don't, I don't get the chance to do well in games that often. Um, okay. I think we're going to have to go in like this. Another trick I've learned is always flip it. Whenever it looks like it can be flipped, flip it. Uh, because it'll most likely be that way. You know, when you think about it from a, from a mindset like that, it's like, we're probably going to have to flip this. Um, and we're probably going to have to flip this again. I'm just going to throw a bomb. Uh, yeah! There we go. Look at that. That was that was nice. That was very nice. Okay, so up here, what are we looking for up here? There's a staircase. Could this be leading us to where I think it's leading us? I'm hoping that this is taking us to where the boss key is. But at this rate, ladies and gentlemen, I couldn't tell you. I'm going to go ahead and flip this one more time before we go any further because I believe this is going to be the right flip. Ah, correct. There's a there's something over here. 50 rupees. Come on. I'm I'm trying to progress through the dungeon, not, you know, open up link savings account. Let me go ahead and hit this again cuz there seemed to be something I can't see it now. Come ah. Sometimes it's so stressful that you can only use certain items from certain distances, but then there's other ones that you can use too. It's just yeah, it kind of gets me. Okay, we're going to head down these stairs then. Cane of Samaria it looks like. And let's keep on moving. Oh man, guys, I think I just heard a noise. I really think something is out there. I don't know what it is. I hope I don't find out. You ever thought about that before? How in like scary movies, people are always like so ready to like go and do some stuff. And and then all of a sudden you're just like, no, like what, what are you doing? Like why in the heck would you ever, ever, ever begin to do like scary stuff like that? Like it just, I don't know. I, I guess I just I don't understand it. Um, where am I supposed to go here? Oh man, maybe I have to push these in. Hmm. Um, I guess this might work. I suppose pushing these in. I, I really couldn't tell you. 
let's go this way. Let's go this way. Uh, I'm gonna push this one this way. Uh, this is a little trickier. I think I know what I'm gonna do. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get these two up here first, um, and then I'm gonna push the other two. Cause I'm pretty. If I'm pretty. If I'm correct, I'm pretty sure this is what we have to do here. So there we go. And then there's one left. Okay. How are we gonna get this one going? Um, okay, so it, it's it's friendly blocks around it. Um, let me move this this thing. They can't move. That's cool. I think I got it pretty much locked down at this point. The only one that can move is the blue one at the bottom. And there we go, guys. Looks like we have figured out this puzzle. Woohoo! Look at us. And we got ourselves the boss key. I'm pretty sure that all that owl statue said too was like, oh. Move me together. Bring all the blocks to me. So just a heads up for you. It wasn't anything too crazy important. It didn't give you the secret of life, the meaning of life, whatever that is. So don't don't worry about that. There's some mystery statues that I do know what they say already. So I don't bother too much with it. Okay, let me go ahead and hit this one. We can finally make our way to the boss's door. Because if you guys remember, we did find out where that was earlier. Uh, I think I should leave it red. Probably the way we came in, right? Yeah, okay, because if you guys remember, as I was saying, we actually came up on that door um, very early. It was actually one of the first things we bumped into, so let's see if we can make our way back there, uh, hopefully very, very quickly. I think it's down here, if I am correct. Uh, yes, let's go flip the switch then and see if we can make our way back down there. We are so close to the boss already, uh, I can't even believe it. It's kind of exciting that we're making our way through through this game so quickly. I'm actually looking forward to taking on this boss too. As you'll be able to see here in a little bit, the boss is a lot different than uh, some of the other bosses you take on. So I'm kind of really, really excited to, to be doing this. Let's head back down then and make our way to where we need to go. This is so exciting. We have flown through a dungeon to- wait, wait. Yes, this is it. Yes, okay. All right, all right, guys. Um, we should be good here. I need to find us some hearts though because I don't have uh, all hearts right now. But we're definitely going to need these. Let me go ahead and use up these hearts. All right, we're at full hearts. Let's make our way inside then and take on the fifth boss. It's time for a little game. I'll break apart if you can force me back together and blow me away. It ends, but before you do, I should take a bit of your soul. Now begin. So as you can see, this cloud-looking thing has split into different objects. And now here's the trick to it. Uh, these guys come together and then they form back into the big boss. So it's gonna be a puzzly boss. Yes, how cool is that? Uh, the boss entails you putting him together, um, which is actually really, really cool. So there are like some, some similar strategies to this uh, where like if you hit these things, um, as you'll be able to see right here, uh, you can hold them there in a position. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and hold these together to a point um, and see if I can just bring them bring them closer so I'm gonna try to hold one of these here till till another one comes in and there we go see so now we put these two together now I need to get this one to the other side uh, and I'm gonna do this like that okay perfect um, and I should be good to go to mix blend these two together um, if I can just hold this one perfect there we go and with that we have melted them together once again into a pot of fun and defeated two of the puzzles if I remember I think it's four puzzles. Uh, yes, I think it's four puzzles. Now, let me try to get this one um, to the center. There we go. And now I need to dissolve this. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing for the other one and just get it back to the center. Get it to the center. Get it to the center. Centered. There we go. Okay, cool. See? That wasn't bad. I think I think we're coming up on the last one, uh, which should be the most difficult one. And I hope that we can do it. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hope that we can do it this time around. And it looks like... Ooh, this one doesn't... It's not that bad, I suppose. Or I'm just being a very positive person here. Um, I'm gonna hold it here, because I'm pretty sure this one's coming all the way around. There we go. Molded them. And now, for the last one, I'm just gonna, like, drop it right here. Then I'm gonna hold it here. Um, uh, no, no, no. no, you're gonna have to go around. I guess I'll hold the big one. I'll hold the big one here. Okay, there we go. I'll hold the big one. And with that combined, put your forces together. Take us down, take it down, take it down, take it down. Is that it? I don't remember if there's one more. There we go, guys. We have defeated the boss. And with that, we have took down the fifth dungeon in a very, very fast manner. We got the sacred soil. That is the fifth out of eight essences of time. Three more to go. All that lies sleeping in the bosom of the earth will know the nourishing warmth of the sacred soil. Room 
country. I still hear an essence echoing near Roland Ridge, huh? I think someone's come. So it looks like something is happening. Oh, huh? I was digging a new tunnel and I ended up here. Hey, what are you doing here? Don't you know games are the new fad on Rolling Ridge? You should check them out too. So it seems like a lot more is going on and we're gonna have to make our way back to the Maku Tree. So if you guys have any tips or just wanna let me know how you're doing, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.